Hello my friend, welcome back to my channel for a new month and that means new goals. It's time to take a look at my May tending list in my Cultivate What Matters Power Sheets, which is the planner that I use to plan out my monthly action items for the month. And using those action items on my tending list, I work towards my big picture goals for the year. If that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned. <laughs> I cannot even believe that it's already May, month five of 12. This year is just going by so fast. And I guarantee you it's because I spent the first third of the month, third of the year? Spent the first third of the year in Florida. Oh, by the way, as you can see, I'm back home now. We are back in Minnesota. We got back at the beginning of April and we are so glad to be home. So I am coming at you back from Diva and the Divine HQ. And by the way, if you are new here, hello, my name is Brianna and I am the Diva behind Diva and the Divine. Thank you for clicking on this video today. Okay, let's dive right into my goals. I guess I need to get my planner. Here we go. Now we're all set. I have my Cultivate What Matters planner. Let's talk about goals from last month, shall we? So last month, I knew it was going to be a little bit crazy. I didn't know how much I was going to be able to do simply because of the transition period and getting the house set back up and all of those things. And I got a lot done. I did. The goal refresh that I did last month, which meant going and actually taking a look at my 2021 goals as a whole and kind of giving them a facelift, freshening them up, and picking one area to focus on for quarter two of the year helped me tremendously both with planning last month and with cultivating focus for this month as well, which has been very, very helpful. If you are interested in what I'm talking about, I will link the video to last month's goals right here, and that includes the monthly goals or the quarterly goals refresh. Let's do a quick review of April, shall we? Spring cleaning, I did. Batching May's content, shocker, I'm doing that as we speak. This is video one of seven that I have to film today. Set up all of my business back end stuff for coaching is done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. And I couldn't be more excited about it. Make a home projects list. That is a list that is going to be constantly changing, but we have started the list and started completing the projects, which feels real good. Read Not a Life Coach, which is the Diva and the Divine Book Club book for the month. I'm only a third of the way through it. I really need to buckle down and get some reading done this weekend. Spend one hour at the piano. I haven't done yet, but there's still a week and a couple days. Maybe not a couple days. There's still a couple of days left in the month and I'm gonna do it this weekend. Restock the house, I did that. We have been grocery shopping for meal plans, which has been really, really great, but I've also been picking up the things that we need to just refresh and have on hand after four months out of the house. Set up a work schedule. My work schedule is set. We'll see how it changes this month, but I have set work hours, office hours, all those things, oh my gosh. And get ready for launch. There's just a couple, few little things, but if I had to launch tomorrow, I could do it. So, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. My weekly action items, I only had three. Meal planning, weekly work to-do list, and weekly home to-do list. I didn't do any of those weekly to-do list things. I just wrote down what I needed to do in my Erin Condren Daily Duo planner, and that was it. Um, I don't, I had good intentions and I just never did it, but the meal planning has been going so stinking well. I am loving meal planning. Meal prep day has been on Sundays. It's been wonderful. We know exactly what we're eating. I know exactly how to track it and it's been great. It's been really, really great. And I've done that the whole month. Daily action items, light a candle. See that right there? I'm doing pretty good with lighting the candles. Not every day, but most days. Drink tea. I did solidly for about a week and a half, and then I just haven't done it. <laughs> morning routine and evening routine, they are in progress. I have done something that resembles a morning routine and an evening routine every day, but we're gonna get more into that in the upcoming month's goals. Speaking of, I guess that was it. So that's how April went for me, and all in all, the primary goal of this past month was to get settled back in the house and to get ready for coaching launch, and I am I have done both of those things. So now let's take a look at the tending list for the month of May. I just finished this up this morning because all of a sudden I was like, oh shoot. I gotta do my goal planning if I'm gonna do a goals video. But I'm very I'm very pleased with what I picked here. I do have some white space. I do have some very um, basic things in the daily action items, but I'm very excited about what finishing all of these things will mean for my consistency and my progress this month, which is one of my primary focuses. My other main focus that I actually wrote down right here, my priority is schedules and routines. Because with the launch of coaching and everything, 
your girl's going from full-time homemaker to like a job like more than just YouTube and with that comes a work schedule and a morning routine I gotta have my butt in the office chair at specific times I have to be flexible for call scheduling and all of these things and while I'm very excited about it if I am not mentally in a headspace to um, to create these schedules and to adhere to time and management which we all know that I'm really bad at I'm doomed to fail so I'm planning for and prioritizing schedules and routines this month along with some consistent goals. So it's kind of all wrapped up in a neat little bow of like, let's get Brianna on the right track here, right? So as per usual, the tending lists are divided up into monthly action items, which are items that you only have to do once and you got a cute little progress bar. Weekly action items are items that you repeat every single week and daily action items and or habits are things that you are supposed to do each and every day. Let's dive in. The first thing I actually have written down here is no way may. And I mentioned this in the last vlog that I uploaded, but I am so excited about this just because I need... I, I get this way every single year and let's be honest the reason I like no way may is because of the way it sounds the way it rolls off the tongue the way it rhymes because I'm a dork and that's just that's just who I am but I love the idea of zeroing in and focusing on your consistency and your habits without the validation of the scale and I think it's very important to take take the time to do that every once in a while. And I have been weighing almost daily since the beginning of my cut. And now that I'm nearing the end of my cut, I believe my cut is going to end at the end of this month. I'm going to do the last month of my cut with zero scale validation. So I'm going to weigh in on the last day of this month and the first of June first of June and we'll see what the weigh-in ends up being. And I just, I love the idea of having to hone in on other things without the scale. And I think, I think I need it. I think I need it. My next two goals kind of go hand in hand and that is designing an evening routine and a morning routine. And this is, this is again, I have to be able to get up earlier and hit the ground running faster. I did it this morning and I'm very, very proud of myself. But like today was day one of me actually like getting up at 6.30, getting things going right away. I was down in the basement to work out at 7.30, like great things. And I was like, okay, I need to be able to do stuff like this every single day. So the establishment of morning and evening routines that are like Actually, I'm going to write them out because I think that will be helpful for me to have like this morning checklist and evening checklist with, you know, some, some guidelines. Like in the morning, I'm not supposed to touch my phone. Like I'm horrible about that, but I need to do that, right? So the whole month, I'm just going to be focusing on creating those routines because of my new work schedule and I'm very excited. I'm very excited. One more monthly goal I have and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it yet but I'm going to try because I'm a content creator and I need to learn how to do this. I'm going to figure out how to have like a little at home photo shoot. So I'm going to be doing photo shoots or like taking pictures of myself but like I'm going to be doing it. <laughs> I have to figure out exactly how to do that and how I want to do that. I might enlist the help of my husband. I don't know. Um, but that's just something that I've been wanting to try for a while. And now with the launch of a new business and all those, all those other things, I feel like now is the right time to try. My next goal, it's going to happen. I just had to write it down because I can, is get my second COVID vaccine. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We just had our first shot this past weekend. And all I have to show for it is this welt on my arm. You see that? You see that? So like, that was my only, that was my only issue is it hurts. To, it doesn't even hurt to the touch anymore, which is good. I got it on Saturday. Today's Tuesday. Um, there's still a little bit of a bump there, but I have a welt. And that's it. I had we had no other issues. Um, I know there's a very high likelihood that I will not be that lucky for shot two. So we actually have our shot scheduled for a Saturday, which gives us Sunday to be completely bogged down by our side effects. And that following Monday is actually the first week, first day of batch week for me for next month, which means I have no coaching calls, I have no other things. And so I can manipulate my schedule a little bit to make sure I have two solid days of making room for the side effects of that. Totally worth it totally worth it because I get to integrate myself back into society again. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. So we're getting there. I'm so excited. I could dance about this all day. One hour at the piano. I liked having that goal this month. Granted, I'm not doing it until the last weekend, but like being able to tell myself, all you got to do is one hour and I don't care how you do it. Like I can do that. 
So I'm gonna do it again. Read 168 hours. No, that is not how many hours I need to read. That is the name of the book. The book club book for the month of May is 168 hours by Laura Vanderkam. And that is a book all about how there are 168 hours in the week. Let's teach you time management to help you manage those really, really well. And then my goal, this is just kind of a, for me, optimistic, let me see if I can do it goal. I want to book five monthly coaching clients. Can I do it? I don't know. Let's find out. My weekly action items have some white space and they're very, very basic, but I'm, I needed to write something down, right? Self-care every single week. This is going to be a very stressful month for me and a very big month of transition for me. I want to make sure that I take some intentional time to do something just for me every week. I have do a module in a course that I purchased. Yes, I said that last year was the year of cor courses, but I couldn't help myself with this one. And oh my gosh, it is it is a course specifically for one on one coaches. And I'm so glad I decided to take it I'm kicking myself for not taking it like two or three months ago, but I'm loving it. So I want to make sure that even though I'm working on coaching stuff, I'm still furthering my education to be able to show up even better right from the get go. I also want to schedule an email newsletter every week. Why am I so bad at that? I don't know. I don't know. And schedule social media posts. And then my daily action items. This is kind of where the things come in for. I'm not weighing myself this month, but I am zeroing in on these specific habits. And my goal, I have all seven of the daily habits filled out and I would really like to be able to fill in where applicable the X's for every single day. So first is prayer time. Guys, I've been really bad about that. I've been really bad about um, regular time in prayer with God and conversation with God and I need to get better. I purchased a special prayer journal type thing that I think is going to help me. It's very, very cool and in theory. I will let you guys know once I start using it if I find it to be effective or not. It was only $15 and it's for six months. I'm very excited about it. Um, but I need to be a lot better about spending time with God first thing in the morning to make sure that my headspace and my heart is in the right place. Read for 10 minutes. This is kind of a la um, like 75 hard, 75 medium. It's the same sort of vibe that I'm going for without giving it a title like that. Um, so read for 10 minutes. I just got to set a timer and read something preferably the book that I'm supposed to be reading for 10 minutes every single day. Close my rings. The end. Earning my X, as you guys know, means earning the X on the consistency calendar, or in this case, in this little habit tracker. And what that means is I meet my calorie goal for the day and I'm throwing in protein goal too. I really, really, really want to make sure I'm reaching my protein goal. So if I do those two things, I get to check off the little X in the box. Stretching. Okay, this is a big one because I have to like, discovered. I've always known this about myself, but especially with my disease and my body. Um, your girl is not spending the time stretching out her muscles like she needs to be. And so I want to, it's like, it's almost more important than the workout. Truly. It's like physical therapy level. I need to start investing some real time and energy and effort into this specific thing. And I'm going to, I need to like do a little bit in the morning, a little bit in the evening. I also might have gotten myself a massage gun. That's going to help be, it's going to be a crucial element to the stretching and the recovery and the relaxation of muscles. So I'll let you know how it goes, but I've got some stuff that really needs to get loosened up and worked out. Evening planning. Before I leave my office for the day, I want to sit down with my planner, specifically my Erin Condra Life Planner, and I want to fill in the to-do list so I don't like get up here at, I don't know, 10 o'clock, depending on what day it is, and be like, what do I have to do today? I want to have my to-do lists and my agenda and everything planned in advance instead of spur of the moment. I'm not great at that right now, and with the launch of my coaching business, I need to be better. It is non-negotiable. And then my last daily goal is let's get up. And what let's get up is, is a new Beachbody program by Sean T. I did the trial workout of it and it's like dance, but also muscular training. And it was so much fun. I had a blast so much so that I'm going to pay for early access to it. I can't help myself. I can't help myself. I talked to my friend who is a Beachbody coach. You guys might know her classically Molly here on YouTube. And I was like, girl, I think I have to do it. I think I have to do it. So I actually joined her coaching group and I'm gonna do it. So once it launches, which is on May 3rd, I'm in. I'm doing it. It will give me something different to do. It will give me something high energy and dancey and fun to look forward to. But also that workout that I did, the trial workout, 
my legs hurt after that sucker. Like, it was intense. It was real. And I was like, you know what? Maybe this is what I need right now because I love Joel and I love Lift 4 and I even love the Morning Meltdown 100 and Lift 4 hybrid that I'm doing, but I just need to shake it up a little bit and I think this is the way to do it. And I love that it's dance workout with weight training. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So obviously I can't do that for May 1st and May 2nd, but May 3rd, which is also Erin Contran Planner launch day, and it is also, it's already happened. So by the time you see this, very relevant. It's Erin Contran Life Planner launch day. It's coaching launch day, and it's let's get up day. Next Monday is going to be lit, y'all. And by next Monday, I mean the Monday that has already happened. I digress. Those are my goals for the month of May. And I'm so excited about them. And I hope you can see that kind of how I have them all tailored to this whole schedules and routines and consistency goal as a whole, right? Can you kind of see what I did there to kind of get them all to integrate and work together? I'm very excited about this. So this is my focus for the whole month is just consistency and goals and routines. And I can't wait. Let me know in the comments below if you have any goals that you are focusing on next month and Tell me what your plan is for you to achieve that because a goal without a plan isn't going to get you anywhere. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up because that would really, really, really help me out. And if you haven't already joined the Deep in the Divine community, we would love to have you. Just click that little red subscribe button right there and you will get notified every time I upload something new. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. Take care, happy May, and I'll see you next time.